Do you know what this is and why it should be one of your favorite tools for sewing garments? Let's talk why, plus I'll give you my favorite three reasons for when I use it that are a little bit unusual. It has come to my attention over a couple of shorts that I've posted here on YouTube and elsewhere that a lot of people don't realize that they could use a walking foot to sew garments, and it blows their mind when they find out how much it could help them. So today I'm talking about one of my favorite ever sewing machine feet, the weird looking dude that is a walking foot and why it's so great. I really wish I could make the Pac-Man noise. That's, that's, that's not what Pac-Man sounds like. First of all, what's it even for? The basic idea is simple. Anywhere that your fabric may shift easily or stretch out of shape, you want to use a walking foot. You may see it called an even feed foot too. Ever sewed a long seam and the top fabric ends up longer than the bottom fabric, or matched up a stripe but at the side seam it ends up being off after you've sewed it, then you need to try a walking foot. A lot of people who are into dressmaking and sewing garments don't even think about buying a walking foot or using the one that came with their sewing machine. I totally get that. I used a walking foot with my old sewing machine, but when I bought my Bernina, the walking foot came in a literal box, so I didn't even bother to open it for a while because it seemed intimidating. Now some sewing machines come with a built-in dual feed, which eliminates the need for a walking foot. So if that's your sewing machine, you're basically already using one. Bye, see you next video. So let's talk about what a walking foot does and why it should be one of your favorite sewing machine feet too. What a walking foot does is feed the top layer of fabric at the same rate as your sewing machine's feed dogs feed the bottom layer. So they're feeding evenly. And if that's a bit too technical for you, don't worry about it. Think of it like this. Think of each of my hands as a layer of fabric, and they both come out of the sewing machine at the same rate they went into the sewing machine. One doesn't end up a little bit shorter than the other, and they don't stretch out. I use my walking foot a lot, so here's my top three reasons for when you should use it for sewing garments. Reason number one, and definitely my favorite, when you've matched plaids, prints, or stripes across a seam. Matching prints and stripes, this is a perfect time to use a walking foot. I never do it without. Say you've cut out a pattern fabric and you've taken the time to match the print across a seam, like a center back or a center front seam, or stripes along a side seam. So it should line up when you sew it. There's nothing more frustrating than sewing it and finding out that everything shifted under the presser foot and is now about a quarter of an inch off. So this is an example of what can happen if you use a regular sewing machine foot. And the longer the seam, like a skirt seam, the more likely this is to happen, as your problem kind of compounds as you get more and more down the length of the seam. Instead, use a walking foot to sew those seams. If you've pinned carefully, then your print will shift less and stay matched up much more easily if you sew those seams with a walking foot. See how much better that is? It's so much easier to keep everything lined up with prints, plaids, and stripes if you use a walking foot to sew them. My second favorite reason for using a walking foot when sewing garments is when you're sewing gathered waistline seams. If you sew skirts or dresses with gathered waistlines, you know there's a lot of bulk that goes into that skirt, and sometimes under a normal presser foot, that waistline seam all stretches out a little bit. When I haven't used a walking foot, I've had skirts end up almost an inch bigger at the waist than they started before I sewed the waistline seam. So instead, use a walking foot. If you use a walking foot for bulky waistband seams, it's much more likely that the waistline will stay the same size. And then you don't have to worry about the unexpected surprise of finding out that your waistline is bigger than you intended it. My third favorite reason to use a walking foot for garments is when you're sewing really long seams. Long seams are notorious for ending up with the top piece of fabric a little bit longer than the bottom piece of fabric when you get to the end of the seam. And even short seams can do that sometimes. Am I going to pretend like I haven't just snipped that little bit off the end sometimes? No, I am not. But I sew a lot of jeans and pants, and I found that it's really helpful to use a walking foot for sewing those long seams. The walking foot feeds the fabric in evenly, so that means that the top layer and the bottom layer will end up the same length, even after that long seam. My god, these pants are wrinkly! <laughs> but these aren't the only reasons to use a walking foot when you sew a garment, just the ones that I use most often that may be a little bit out of the ordinary. You can use a walking foot for sewing stretch knit fabrics, slippery fabrics that might shift around a lot, fabrics with nap like corduroy that you want to be a little bit more careful with, you name it. Do you use a walking foot for sewing garments and have some other tips for why? Let us know in the comments. Hope this video inspired you to try a walking foot. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon with more sewing tips. Bye!